What's up, y'all? I got a family of feet, so let's get into this tea, girl. We're about to get into the Diera single again. Neek steps in to defend Lena on Mother's Day. Huh? All right, let's get it. Obviously, Diera has been throwing hints here and there that she's in a relationship with Jazz. She was even around Jazz's parents where she referred to them as her in-laws. So now she posted a photo of Jazz on her Snapchat, and then someone asked the question, is she single? Dear, unfortunately, yes. I don't know why the shit package deal. <laughs> Respond with, unfortunately, yes. I don't know why though. She the whole package deal. Yo. So maybe Jazz hasn't officially asked Deera to be her girlfriend yet, or did they break up? You guys leave your opinions <laughs> down below. But let's move on to this next topic with. Oh no, because there is more. Let me go to this damn shade room teens, bro. The funniest thing in my life, y'all will never know why. Um, shade room teens, or is it on shade room? Come on. Okay, here it is. Y'all low key would make a cute couple. <laughs> She's single, unfortunately. Yes, I don't know why though. She the whole package deal. Um, restock soon, but she rocked them. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Respectfully, and exp and please explain what this mean. Laugh my eyes off. I do like them towering over me. Perfect height for you. Hmm, I think that might be you. Laugh my eyes off. They a little different belief. Girl, is it just me or she got the same tat as you, boo? I think that might be you. Okay. <laughs> hey, yo. Let me read these comments. Uh, Dear weird, but y'all don't want to say she weird because it's dear. What? Uh, this tired, they've been together to find Lotto, man. Yo, Lotto is dating 21 Savage. <laughs> 21. Brandon McNutton with the drum. It's 21 Savage. How the hell aren't y'all getting this? Look on her neck and see what the tattoo, not neck. Look behind her ear, see what the tattoo says. Go look up what 21 Savage name is. And there comes your answer. What are y'all talking about? Uh, she too grown to be acting this corny over a stud. <laughs> what? Uh, y'all owe Ken an apology. That's all I'm gonna say. Why? Um, I love Diara, but I love being a girl's girl more. She's so wrong for this. If in fact Diara and Stud Poppy is dating, dating, uh, uh, uh consensually, not cons whatever the word is, because I'm tipsy. Let me tell you something. Her and Ken was already broken up. That's number one. Number two, you can't take somebody that don't want to be there. <laughs> you cannot take something from someone that doesn't belong to them. <sighs> Mind you, Ken cheated first. Talking about y'all old Ken and apology. Y'all don't remember Ken was caught on 4K cuffed hand with grips of a woman's buttocks outside in Atlanta. Y'all don't remember? I don't understand. I don't understand how they forgot that. Um, We've been new to T. Y'all need to be focusing on finding Lotto, man. Y'all are crazy if y'all don't know who Lotto is dating. That's her special friend, y'all. My uncle had a special friend, and they just friends. Roommates, if you will. <laughs> same way you get them. It's the same way you lose them, Deara. Deara's so corny for what she did. Girl. Y'all don't even know, shorty. Y'all just mad because y'all upset at the fact that y'all don't know if they're dating or not. Which, they always put it in your face, but you're still trying to figure it out. As far as I'm concerned, the first time I seen them together... I was convinced something going on, right? 
whether I was right or wrong, I already got my decision. I don't understand how it's so weird. Niggas got their hands around the neck. Niggas is gripping at the waist, damn near by the booty. Niggas is always with niggas. Um, niggas got to say, I like them towering over me, okay? Um, niggas got to say, restock soon, but she rock. The goddamn glasses is facing down. <laughs> the glasses are facing to the ground. She promoted the glasses when they wasn't even looking straight at you. I just wanted y'all to know that. Okay. Unfortunately, yes, she's single. I don't know why, though. She's the whole package deal. And y'all are still asking yourselves, are they together? I guess we'll never know, guys. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Studs up 21,000. 21. Lena, Which is Lotto's man, by the way. Come on. And Neek. Now, Neek and her mom did a promo for a mommy makeover company. Now, they asked people to tag someone that they feel could use this surgery. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Neek. It's Cindy. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. All right, guys. We all know that having a baby is one of the most amazing gifts from God. But let's be real. We don't always shake back, shake back. <laughs> right? So, we decided to partner with Lux Recovery Home, one of the best of the best, y'all. I'm telling y'all, the best in Cali, Columbia. She stayed there. I stayed there. <laughs> y'all, if y'all see my vlog, y'all know what I'm talking about. To completely pay for your 360 Lifeo, BBL, and a 15 day stay at Lux Recovery Home. You we cannot beat that. Good, good, and you eat good. All right, guys, the tickets are going on sale immediately today. Starting today in June the 1st. On June. Y'all, why are we talking about this? June the 2nd. We will be going live and using a randomizer to pick the winner. So good luck. Super excited for this. <laughs> Six will be on. So knowing Neek and Elena are not really cool right now, people were actually tagging Elena, stating that she needs this oh surgery. So then someone states, for those of you commenting Elena's name, that's so mean. Y'all don't have to like her, but to bully her like that is not okay. You can't support Neek without putting down another woman's self-esteem, especially knowing Lena is a postpartum mommy right now. And as you can see, the author of this post actually liked this message. So that was either like by Neek or her mom. So let's move on to this next topic with Queen and Clarence. I'm sure that now, was like by Neek. Girl. Recently they did this video. This part of their video has been going viral. Now the Shade Room posted it yesterday with the caption, social media users bring up Queen and Clarence's long-term relationship after their response to an unmarried couple that has been together for 10 years. So then the Shade Room goes on to post comments from Twitter where people were actually getting on Clarence. Someone states, all I can say about this Queen Nyjah and Clarence situation is that Queen needs to wake up. Another person says, Clarence bought Queen Nyjah expensive cars, a Birkin and all that ish, but can't propose, huh? And another comment states, this whole Queen and Clarence ish is crazy. She done built this N word from the ground up literally took him out his mama's basement and changed his whole lifestyle and he acting like he don't want to marry her is bs queen can really dip and make another hit breakup song so then ma left a comment underneath the shade room's post that stated this comment section is necking with laughing emojis. So now, honestly, it does appear that Clarence does plan on marrying Queen. He's referred to her as his wife multiple times. But we don't know what's going on behind clothes. The more y'all keep bringing it up, the more he gonna push it back. He know that he can't go past 10 years, I'll tell you that. Because <laughs> Queen said so, but... I don't know why y'all want to push this narrative and keep trying to force somebody to get married. Also, stop doing it in my comments. Jesus. Like, 
niggas going to decide to get married when the hell they decide to get married. First of all, getting married is way more to it than getting down on one knee. I mean, damn, look at Nick and Lena. Look how much of a shit show this has turned into just from an engagement party. Okay? Girl, I wouldn't rush shit for y'all. <laughs> at all those doors maybe they have some issues that they want to resolve first with family members or even it between their own relationship before they don't fucking matter i'm gonna marry her when i want to and that has nothing to do with family first of all our day-to-day -day has nothing to do with family i'm sure their day-to-day -day has nothing to do with their uh outside family outside of their immediate family which is them two and they children so uh, i just i they decide I'm not a fan of this shit. to get engaged and obviously you can tell that queen is ready she's over the whole boyfriend oh girlfriend God. thing she's ready to be a wife but now you guys leave your opinions on this down in the comment section below do you guys feel like there should be a time limit for no. dating or do you believe in taking your time Take because time. this is a very big decision no i will because i'm the one marrying you not them say queen and clarence have had a child bought a home together and clarence is even building a strong relationship with queen's child cj so technically he's really like already a stepfather but you guys leave your opinions on that and everything else in this video down in the comment section look Bye -bye. man peaceful out here yeah, yeah we're working on it <laughs> we're working on it this summer <laughs> this nigga done got acres of land the sugar guy i might have to move out here to the country man tell him look how much land this is that's why i'm on the way too boy who is the this the land is od yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all hookah that you gotta make that. He get that to you. You gotta make that right there. Cause on, then you might never see the ball again. You gotta make that. Mommy's downstairs. Go with mommy. No. <laughs> Y'all hookah. Yeah. I can. Oh. Jose only got land. a left hand. Let me tell y'all something. Dude from the Pales, Jose. What? Let me tell y'all something. I never knew how much a house and land mattered till this year. <laughs> I just consider myself a late bloomer, okay? He plays for the Pelicans. His name is Jose. Got it. I just want to put this out there. Oh. Uh, I don't want to spend no more money on no more bullshit. I want to save all of it. Get my credit top tier. Get me a bag. the And I mean the bag that I can get granted. Because I don't even know if y'all know, but you shouldn't even be spending your own money on this shit. But anyway, Jose Alvarado. Got it. It's time for land, y'all. It's so time for land. It's been time for land, but I'm a late bloomer to this conversation. But I promise you, it's coming, and I can't wait. The reality check that you get when it's time to get a house because now you got a family and things like that, that reality check hit real different. Woo, girl. Is he a little injured right now? Come on, CJ, get a bucket on an NBA player. Get a bucket. Oh, you're too slow. <laughs> okay, but oh, pull that. Okay, so you gotta be quick with it though. Shot. You try, ooh. Buck him. Oh shit. You gotta be quicker with that. You gotta let that go. The first one. Move, yeah, the first one. You gotta you gotta do it. You gotta make that quicker. CJ gonna be a hooper. I think Legend gonna be a well, I don't know. Legend smart. Now, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, because y'all too sensitive for me. Not saying um, CJ ain't smart. What I'm saying is, I think Legend will be a part of a spelling bee. As soon as the spelling bee end, he will run to his basketball game, is what I mean. I think 
uh, legend is like Beethoven mixed with like Michael Jordan and shit. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out there. All right. Yeah. You gotta play some D too. Tell him, Jose. Yeah, Defense good. get you paid. You're following the ball. Don't follow the ball. Follow the person. Hit. Look. Right here. The hit. That can't go nowhere. If I do this, I'm going this way. I can't do this. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. Uh, coin. Miss. Why is it? Why is it coming off your hand like that though? What? You're you're shooting like two hands, like pushing it. There you go. Shot. Okay. She made that one. She like this. Yeah, I ain't like that. That's nah. You're doing back to the two hands. One hand, one hand on the side, one hand at the top. There you go. That's better though. One hand at the top, one hand on the side. There you Shot. go. You like one for nine though. Shot. Take it. Why is that getting in there? First of all, aim for the. <laughs> <head>. <laughs> Left hand. Oh, T room. Uh, we could have seen if it went in or not. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Follow me on my Snapchat at Royalties World Co. I just found out the um stipulations of Snapchat, and just know for the next thirty days, I'm gonna be over there. <laughs> but anyway, um. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.